So the key to the five stages of focused leadership development, stage one, transitioning from a doing mindset to a developing systems mindset, stage two, transitioning from developing systems to managing, stage three, transitioning from managing to leading, stage four, transitioning from leading to mentoring, and stage five, transitioning from mentoring to moving on. Every one of those stages is intended to show that when an individual moves to and through each of those stages effectively, the transition should be seamless to his or her successor. So when handing off your stage one leadership responsibilities to others to cover while you're away, when you do stage one well, that handoff is seamless. When you transition into stage two, when you relinquish your prior responsibilities and allow others to now step in and take, her the, take over those responsibilities, that transition should be seamless. When you move into stage three and transition your mindset from managing to leading, when you seamlessly raise new strategic issues with your team and colleagues, that transition should be seamless. Stage four, when you share with your team the need to develop talent deep and wide throughout the organization in order to support and manage and lead the company you're going to have in the future, that understanding of why those skills are needed should be seamless. And ultimately, stage five, the idea of moving on and continually having seamless transitions up and down the five stages demonstrate that you are an effective stage five leader.